I'm George Groen, Groen Guitars, Nashville, Tennessee, here to talk about vintage instruments and new designs and virtually anything else that comes along. This guitar is a Fender Jaguar made in the year 1964 with custom color seafoam green finish. The standard color at that time was sunburst. Any other color was custom. Now they had a standard set of custom color options and beyond that you could even get something ultra custom that wasn't in their selection but you'd pay extra for that even beyond custom color. But typically also the opaque custom colors had a matching color peg head. The sunbursts had a natural finish peg head, but the custom colors would be matching color with the exception of blonde. The, the tele blonde type see-through blonde finishes would have a standard natural finish on the peg head. The other thing is that these white pick guards, beveled edge laminated white guards, were typical of the custom color ones with opaque finishes, except for blonde and Olympic white which had the regular tortoise shell grain pick guard as you see on the sunburst examples. In other respects, this is a perfectly normal 1964 Jaguar with the 24 inch scale, the standard Jaguar pickups, Jaguar switch system, Jaguar ornamentation, and the large peg head, maple neck, curved rosewood fingerboard with the clay dot inlays, uh, in very late 65, they started binding fingerboards, but they still had dots, and then by mid-66, they had big perloid block inlays. But this is a guitar that brings a lot more money than the standard Sunburst example because it is a custom color option, and it's a rare surf green, which will bring more money than some of the more common custom colors, like Candy Apple Red being one of the most common of the custom color options. This is a 64 guitar. The model was first introduced in 61. And a custom color example will bring a lot more money than the standard sunburst. So if this were a standard sunburst, it would be 4,000 to 4,500 for a really clean one. If it were a more common custom color, such as candy apple red, it might push 6,000 or 6,500, but in a really rare custom color, here it is at $11,000. But it is still a very collectible guitar Although, so far as playability and sound, it's no different than if you had a standard sunburst one. It won't feel the same, it won't feel any different, it won't sound any different. If a blind person were playing it, he couldn't tell the difference between this and the sunburst one. But anyway, it'll bring more money to the right collector. So here we have it, a 1964 Surf Green Fender Jaguar.